Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to my Football Manager 2018 Journeyman Series with IFK Timra. Now, as you know, you were with us for the start of the second season and as you can see, we have continued with our winning ways until the last game against one of the new sides, but my touchpad's not working, hang on, there we go, against one of the new sides, Bergen Estates. Now, as you can see, they scored two late goals against us, we were 1-0 up, we did score a 92nd minute goal, nowhere did it say it was disallowed for offside, there was no free kick or anything else, it said 2-2, but as soon as it went the full time whistle, it went to 2-1. Confused? Yes, so we we lost a phantom goal somewhere along the lines. But anyway, so as you know, we were we beat two we beat uh, with you guys we beat Pieta 2-0 with uh Ingleboom and Castilian getting the goals. Unfortunately Ingleboom has been injured since then. So it's not been great, but we still went out and beat Valbo 3-0 with Ardolf, Castilian and Garrison getting the goals. Then we went out and struggled against IK Mora. Um, but we managed to still get the win by a goal to nil. Garrison with a second goal. And then we beat uh, Galavar Malberts 3 0 with Olaroff and Garrison getting the goals again. So, as you can see, Garrison's been scoring quite a few goals, but he hasn't even been starting. He's been bet on the bench every single time. But he's popping up with a goal every so often. But he, he didn't play in this game, he wasn't even on the bench. And we got a phantom goal given against this. This rolled out somehow, somewhere along the line. Cause the yeah, Olaroff, sorry, scored. Punt over the top. He skinned the last man, buried it into the bottom corner, and it was disallowed. So unfortunately, that went out the window. So let's have a quick look at the league table. If it the letters. If it's gonna load, hello. There we go bit slow. So as you can see, we're two points clear at the top of the league at the present. Um, we did lose our seven game on beaten strike, thanks to Bergenet, IAK. But, you know, these things happen. So we're up to first, which is great news. We're only two points clear. We're playing Hogsville today, who are like literally two points behind us. As you can see, the top five positions is really, really, really tight. Actually, you could always go all the way down to eighth and see how really tight this division is at the minute after five games. So I'm hoping that we can continue on our run and continue on winning. So you guys want to know who what the squad's going to be today. Uh, tactics, Alan. Tactics. Sorry. How many times have I done videos? Christ almighty, man. There we go. Tactics. So our team's going to be Conchavin and Goals with the three defenders as Jose Suarez, Paldan and Hadinis, who is actually injured. What's his injury? Oh, he, well, I don't want him playing then, do I? No, we're not going to play him. We'll put Vedersen in there. And we'll leave him on the bench, just in case. But he's not due to be back. Tansy's playing right wing back, and that's because Sinclair's still had injured. With Rinderoy on the left. In the midfield centre, we've got Anderson and Berger. And in front of them, we've got the youngster Granley, who's been playing fantastic. And up front, as a target man, we have Castilian. And as a defensive follower, we have Olaroff. On the bench, we've got Jukic, Gunnarsson, Kupi, Engelblum, who's a couple of days from full fitness. Uh, Hadinus, who you know is out now for still four more days. Pananto, and the youngster Garrison. Obviously, Garrison, if we have any injuries to our strikers, I'd rather bring Garrison on so I can get Engelbaum fully fit again. So, let's move on and let's get this game started. Neither of these two players have played this season. Great! Fingers crossed we can pick up another three points here for you guys on the channel. And maybe win the league for the first time ever. Way! Hey, <laughs> be nice to get a trophy at the start of the uh, thing. So as you can know, all of our top goal scorer at present. So let's get on into the dressing room. Let's get it kicked off. They're playing a four, whatever it was. I don't even know. I wasn't paying that much attention. Let, let's just get it kicked off. Let's get this game started. I'm intrigued to see if we can beat Hogsville after last season. They finished above us. And I'm hoping that we can finish above them this season so far so good at the start of the season but we shall see 
Four, two, three, one is what they're playing. And if you hear the coughing and that in the background, that is my children. I do have my kids here this weekend. That guy's my little boy was just coughing his ring up, so I'll give him some medicine. Hopefully he'll settle down. So, as you can see, Sands of Rickens are now 2-0 up, who was the team relegated last season. They're now ahead of us by goal difference, by two goals, which is the two goals they just scored. God damn it, Mora. But, let's see if we can get pick up the points. Here comes the attack. Tanzi, all are off. Laser back, Burger! Oh! Just wide by Burger. Much better performance by IFK Temura there. Let's hope we can... Oh my word, man. They're 3-0 up. Come on, IFK Mora. You put a fight against us and against this team. You're just lying down, taking it. Oh, that was me hoping to stay top of the league. Can we win the ball back? I'm not sure that's one of our old players, Lindbergh. And Karlstrand as well. Oh, beautiful ball in. Luf swings it across. Oh my good god, man. Two, are we going to be on two defeats in a row? As it's, i just seen that Senderoff has scored a fourth goal against Mora. Cracking goal by this team. I like just played it in behind us. Good cross. Oh man, two defenders and a keeper. Should have cleared that with ease. That was terrible, terrible defending by us. As we now are down to third in the table because we're 1 0 down, and Hogsville have now leapfrogged us by a point. Oh, is this the end of our uh, winning ways? Seven games undefeated, then two defeats in a row. Is this what it's going to come down to? It is certainly looking this way, guys. Cannot believe it. What are we actually playing? Are we playing counter? Yeah, why are we playing counter? Control. We're the better team. Let's give him a little shout of demand. Uh, show some. You no, know, we'll demand more. Let's give him a little shout of demand more. Because it's just not good enough. We should not be losing this team. Our ratings are just as good as theirs. Here they come again. And they got two of our old players as well, which is even more annoying. Man, I can't wait to get my desktop fixed so these graphics stop jumping for you guys. Because <laughs> it's even hard, it's getting hard now for me to see. My graphics and my laptop is dying badly. And I'm also doing, what, three, ser three FM series as well? So it's getting hammered with FM and it's getting hammered with Motorsport Manager. So it's a lot of work for my little PC to handle, but it's doing its, doing its little business for us. So IFK Timura started off the season with seven wins, like, all the way through pre-season, pretty much. Took it into the league, but now we're struggling. Two, it looks like this could be two defeats in a row. We're got already looking frustrated and nervous, which is not a good sign. Um, I don't know what else that we can physically do, though. I'm not trained any other formation for this team. This is the formation I wanted to play this season, and this is the formation I went with. Oh, I'm going to have to bring Garrison on and take Castilian off. Get rid of the target man. My whole team's starting to look frustrated. They're going to get a rollicking at half time. Palden, Suarez, Conchavin. The worst of it is every game until the, even in the last game, we dominated the games. Federson, Rinderoy, can we create something? Federson. Back to Rinderoy, in the burger, Anderson, back to burger, he's found all her off, who finds Castilian, who looks inside, Grunley, Grunley, the youngster, oh, Sergio Grunley put it just wide of the post, oh no, it was saved, oh, I f thought he put it wide, burgers cross, easily for the goal, easy for them, Anderson, back down the line of burger, burger, oh, what was that? What was that? They were in the middle. Just swing it in. No need to just tap it towards the keeper. Oh. But who did I take off? Did I take off Castilian or did I take off Olaroff? For Garrison. Because Garrison's the better player. 
Oh. Both down in the 6.6. I might take Castilian off because I think Orloff is the better finisher of the two. So if I get Garrison on for Castilian, that gives a bit of space up front as well at half time. I still can't believe we're losing this game. Piet have nice scores, so now we're down to fourth in the table. But as I was saying, like in all the other games, like we restricted all the teams to having like one or two shots with none on target by half time. Where in this game, Hogsville have got five on target, five shots and two on target, and they scored one of them. We have a one shot on target and haven't scored. We've had all the possession though, but it's just not good enough. Yeah, I'm going to ask them where their passion is. Do they even want to win this match? Tansy, I don't know why you're looking stressed, son. This is Tansy's first game, by the way, this season. Uh, he hasn't uh, he hasn't played much for us, to be fair. And I think he's going to come off, to be honest. He's on a 6.8 rating. So maybe he's not going to come off. Garrison's definitely coming on. I'm going to take Castilian off and bring Garrison on. And I think I'll swap those two around. He can play target man, okay. But I think he wants... Well, ooh. Do I leave him as a defensive forward? Or put... Yeah, I'll leave him as a defensive forward. Stuff it. Olaf, I didn't realize Olaf could play as a target man. I'm going to put him as a target man attack. So he gets it and pumps it straight at the keeper. So that Garrison can pick up the loose balls. Okay, we will keep it like that for now. Renderoy's having a shocking game at the left back. Things keep going badly. Panto will come on for Renderoy. If his rating keeps that low level. And let's see from if we can actually do something from kickoff. So we're in the all black. Hugsville's in the white and red, as you're aware from the first half. And let's see if we can actually win a game. Otherwise, it's two defeats in a row away from home. That'll not be good. Two defeats in a row. We've had two games in a row now, all away from home. If we lose two in a row, that's not good. So it's Renderoy's performance. I'm looking to see if his starts dropping. I might put this on attack, you know. We're 1-0 down. If we haven't scored and it's still 1-0 down at the 70th minute, we're going attacking. And they have a corner. Great. We could be 2-0 down here. Lindeberg, Federsen, Alderoff can't, Alderoff can't get on the end of it. And Senna, who scored, puts it a mile and a half wide. Nearly sure he scored past us last season as well, Senna. I am nearly sure of it. I am like 100% sure of it. And again, look at the highlight. They're playing way better than us, by the looks of it. Rinderoy with a great challenge. Pumps it forward, but gives it away. And Federsen wins the header, but it's only gone straight back to them. And Lindeberg the brawl in. And Federsen with the cutout. Fantastic defending by Federsen at the centre-back. That is more like it. And Kutschalman plays it forward, but we couldn't get on the end of it. And they come back for the attack again. And they play it in. Are they going to stretch this again? Lindeberg oh, puts it miles wide. Miles wide. And we're doing much better at the defensive end of it. Paldon's going down to 6.3 rating. Which is not great. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm playing around my headset. It's making me itch today and it keeps popping out of its holder settings. So it's like... Ugh. So the volume's going up and down all over the shop. That's the reason why you hear loads of different things going on in the background. It's my headset. I'm literally playing around with it while wearing it to try and... So it stops itching my ears and itching my head. Don't know why it's doing it. It's only been... Didn't do it in my last video I recorded earlier on today. But it's doing it tonight. So we're at 60 minutes in. We're still 1-0 down. We're still down 4th in the table. Which is not ideal. It looks like it's going to be another defeat. Which is not what I wanted. But, you know, we got to take the good with the bad. We won... What six? We basically won seven. Excuse me, seven games in a row, but two of them weren't in the league, which doesn't help. Alderoff 
Grunley. Burger. All are off soon. Can all are off finish? All are off. I have K Tamra. And he has equalized. All off. Come on. Fantastic football. Much better. Tore them apart. Just goal difference. We're back up a second. All are off. Got it from the through one. Grunley, the young 16 year old, played it in the burger. Beautiful ball in between the center backs. And all are off. Bits the keeper near post. Jack up all are off. What a goal. I know you saw my time. There's probably a better way to pronounce his name. I don't care. That's what I'm calling him. And we're up the second in the table again. Just by goal difference. And it's our attack again. Can we continue this? Tanzi. Grunley couldn't get on the end of it. They countered it out. Jose Suarez wins it. But this, they're on the counter attack. It's three on two. They've played it in behind. Come on. Don't throw it away now. Oh, and Paldon. What a challenge. But he has given it away. And Janssen. Plays a beautiful ball in the loft. Loft finds him and always oh, put it wide. Setter put it wide. The dangerous man of this team has put it well wide. And IFK Timra hold on for a bit longer. Palden with the free kick. Pumps it forward. No one there though. And I had to come again. But Vidarsin with a fantastic challenge. Pumps it forwards and they're just going to pick it up. And Calstron pumps it straight back forward towards them. And Jose Suarez cuts it out. Just stop putting long balls. Just control it. Renderoy. All are off. That's better. Play football. That's it. We're not a pump forward team. Gerson. Garrison. The Anderson. Oh, Anderson. What was that? Oh, you're coming off, Anderson. That's just too many times you've messed that about. We're going to bring Anders Adam Anderson off. Who did I bring on though? I haven't got, really got anyone, have I? He's a 6.8 rating as well. He's actually playing better than Grunley. But I don't have an attack in midfield. If I bring Anderson off for Koopy. Oh, I haven't got a centre back on the bench. I Well, I do, but I don't really want to play him because he's out for four days. He could come on and get injured straight away. Uh, that'll be my only change. Anderson can come off. Setter picks it up. Oh, he sp squins past Anderson like he wasn't even there. And already Lindeberg's in behind again. Oh, great save by Conchavin. Should have been a goal there for the, uh, Hogsville. And Anderson is going to have to come off now. Should be making a change any second. There we go. He's made the change. Koopy's now on. Paladin plays it in the burger. Burger to Grunley. Garrison. Back to Grunley. Oh, he's played Garrison in. Can Garrison score? Oh, keeper saved it. Oh, I thought he was going to beat the keeper at the near post as well. That would have been just an epic way to end this game. Corner comes in. Terrible corner in. Didn't get past the front post. Absolutely shocking corner. Don't even know why they even give me the highlight. And more are 5 nothing down. Jesus Christ, man. This new team that we relegated from the top division last season are going to be difficult. Tanze. Oh, Jesus, man. Grunley, sort yourself out. Tell you what, I'm going to bring Ingebloom on. And that's a score. Jesus. Fuck. Right. Ingebloom, you're on for, for Grunley. And we'll put you up with Garrison. Swap these two round. Garrison can play the attack in midfield. <coughs> and we're going to have to go all out attack here. That was just shocking defending. Back down the fourth. Yeah, I'm disappointed you can see this near post as well. All that from losing the ball in their half. Just two passes and split us completely apart. Three passes, sorry. Like, keeper should have came and just cleared that right there. What was he doing? Oh, I didn't even move for it. Didn't even move for it. Yes, of course I want to make my tactical change. Right. 15 minutes left. Time to change it to all-out attack. We got no choice. Let's go attack in. 
We need an equaliser. That was just horrendous defending, horrendous goalkeeping. And I'm not impressed with what I've seen today. Two defeats, both away from home. It's not it, ideal at this, at this level. We want to win this league. we got to start winning games like this. This team finished above us last season. And they should never have been as last season. But they've played far better than we have today. Oh man, that is really shaking badly now. All are off. Engel Blum. He's holding it up nicely. Tanzi. What is that? What the feckeroo is that? That is absolutely horrendous. First touch was horrendous. Engel Blum. Garrison. Coupe, all are off. Garrison looks out wide. Berger, he's got one man over, but he didn't look for him. All are off, in. Oh, keeper saved it. Did it go? How's that go? Well, hang on. The keeper saved it on his goal line, goes through the post, and it then becomes a goal kick. Okay. Whatever. That's just been the, like the weirdest thing in the world. Show some freaking passion, would you? Luf, oh come on! Good challenge, Jose Suarez. Luf again, man. He's becoming their danger man in this game, and he's played in Lindeberg and Conchavin with the great save. But Jesus Christ, man, the Saxian pass every time down that one side of the defence. And they swing it in, and Palderon clears it to Olaroff. But he's got no one with him. He's just going to have to hold it up, play it down the line. There's no one there. He's just pumped it down the line to give us a breather. And they'll come straight back at us. Oh, Vitterson, what was that? Lindeberg. Oh, he puts it wide. Vitterson, what was that defending? We're one point off the top of the league at the minute. Absolutely shocking. And it looks like it's going to be two defeats by two goals to one in both games away from home. It looks like we are going to be conceding losing away games at this rate. That's not how I wanted it. What's going on? What is going on? There we go. Don't know what I clicked. Ugh. I don't know what they. Disappointing to be losing it, but they have been the better team. Pieta is now drawing, so they should drop back below us. Once the table updates, we should be back up to third. There we go. We're back to third, which is nice. But can we get an equalizer? Tanzi plays a first time forward to Engelbaum. Engelbaum, the injured Engelbaum. Switches it all or off. Oh, what was that? Engel. Oh, no. Shoot, all or off. Shoot. <laughs> Played it back to Engelbaum, who then was straight offside. We're in the final minutes, and <laughs> oh my god, we're back down to fourth because now Otterstrad are two one up. What's going on here? It's at least too tight. It's far too tight. We're only six games in, and it's far too tight. Ah, oh, looks like we're gonna lose a four minutes out of it all. And we're in these final four minutes, and it looks like we are literally gonna lose this game by two goals to one away from home. Two games in a row of two defeats. It's not ideal to have two defeats in a row because that's going to kill the, the the dressing room and my support. Tanzi plays it up the angle bomb. Beautiful ball and cannot. Oh, oh, final whistle. Referee, we were clean through. Well, guys, there you have it. We lost 2 1. I think we are fourth in the table. Uh, they're going to know about it. I am not impressed. That's sort of match we should be winning. Tansy looks stressed. I don't give a toss about Tansy. I'm nearly sure that we now ended up where we were first, we've now finished fourth, and Hugsville, who were fourth, are now second. That's how tight this division is this season. <laughs> that is how tight it is. I don't know if that is actually the full table, but I think it is. So, guys, 
Thank you very much for coming and watching. Sorry it's been another defeat. I think you're getting used to seeing me get losing games anyway. So we should be good for it. Hit that thumbs up like if you've enjoyed me getting defeated. It's been a pleasure as always. Don't forget to, to watch all the other stuff on our channel. If you're new to the channel and you want to see plenty more Football Manager content, hit that subscribe button. And also don't miss out on the other content that we have. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one. All the best. Bye.